Hello, my name is Sylvia Jebet. I work in developer relations at Africa's Talking. And in this video, I will be showing you how to set your callback URLs for bulk SMS Africa's Talking API. Callback URLs enable you to view reports of your data depending on whichever callback URL you're setting, which you will get to see in the video. Now for this, we will navigate to our Africa's Talking account dashboard. And that is where we'll be able to see the sidebar with all the products and we will get to select the product that we want. You can see my app was on SMS. Uh, my app name was Live SMS. So I will go to the SMS tab where at the very bottom, I will see SMS callback URLs. There are four types of callback URLs. And in this case, we will select on the delivery reports, which will enable us to see when our SMSs are sent successfully. Incoming messages are for two-way SMSs, which show when, which show a report when you receive a message from the recipient. Bulk SMS opt-out is for opting out of bulk SMSs for users who wish to do so. And subscription notifications is for the premium SMS for those who subscribe to get notifications or SMSs from you. So in this case, we will be using the delivery reports callback URL. And this is where we get to set our callback. To do this, we will be using JROC, which is a platform that enables you to make your machine a local server. We already have JROC installed for this process. So how we will call it is on our terminal using the command JROC HTTP and the port number, which you will get from our code. And in this case, it was port number 3003, as was highlighted since our code was running on localhost 3003. So we, we input JROC HTTP 3003, which leads to this page once you enter it. And on this page, you can get the forwarding address, which is what has been highlighted. That is what we copy to search for our callback URL since it forwards to our local host port 3003. Now for the callback, we will set the JROC address. And then we, since it's a delivery callback, We'll just add slash delivery for easy monitoring to define the different callbacks. Then we submit, and as you can see, the callback has been updated, that being our address. Now, whenever we send a message, which we will do so using our local host and port number 3003 as shown, and we get a response in the console, we can see that it was sent successfully. We can also go to our code where we open the index file and we can see that we had a route for our delivery, uh, delivery callback, which was slash delivery from your port number. And it should show us that the status was a success and the message should say that the SMS was received successfully. So we can go to postman and now use the URL and add slash delivery in order to see whether we receive that. When you send the message, you can see you get a status success and the message says SMS received successfully as was defined in the code. So with this, when we send our message on port 3003 and we get a response that it was successfully sent as shown, we can go to our code and see that since it was delivered. You can even see in the console that it has been logged. When you go to the JROC terminal, you can see that the post request on slash delivery gives a status of 200 and OK, showing that it was successfully delivered by our user. Since this is done live, if you have your phone, you can see that it actually does send and receive a text. You do receive a text on your phone. That is how we set the callback URL and how you can monitor when delivery reports are sent from your messages. Thank you.